Right now, Uganda is spending over $450 million on the importation of motor vehicles. It's the second largest call on our, uh, dollar, our, our dollars. In other words, like we get all our coffee, most of the income from coffee, and we spend the same income or same dollars on importation of vehicles. What is even more hurting that the vehicles we are importing into the country are 16 years of age and above. By having such an assembly plant, it's going to liberate us from having to depend on foreign supplies of motor vehicles and that's spending and sparing our dollars to something more critical. That the market is there. The position here at Chira Motors is good because we are providing electric vehicles. We know very well now Kampala is the second most polluted city in Africa. And on on account of those old vehicles. So by having electric vehicles, we are sure that at least we shall be reducing on the pollution levels in our country and therefore having healthier populations. Right now, we also want to appreciate the president's directive of stopping importation of buses into the country. We are very confident that now that the Minister of Finance has released most of the money that is required for Chira Motors for this financial year, or at least what was appropriated, we want to make a very big step. However, as you can see, we require more resources to be able to complete the whole cycle, bring in equipment, so that by June next year, by June next year, we are able to have both the infrastructure, the equipment, and the personnel that can be able to make nearly 5,000 buses every year. Uh, today, we have come for yet another oversight visit so that we can follow up on what is on the ground in as far as the construction of the uh, motor vehicle assembly plant is concerned. What we have found uh, on the site is uh, very encouraging. Uh, we have been informed and we have seen and proved that construction is 60% done. And uh, this is in accordance to the work plan of Chira Motors. And uh, we have also looked at the quality of the work by the contractor. The contractor is NEC, which is a, uh, uh, a company under the UPDF. The quality of work is good. And uh, we have also found out that uh, the local community has benefited as a way of jobs various at various levels, right from uh, the level of uh, porters and the other casual laborers to engineers. We have found even uh, some engineers from around this region.